Always low, low prices at Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza. Diaha Smith and Jacoby Robinson Sr. are now facing new charges of child abuse in connection with their second child. This development follows their indictment of the murder of their two-year-old son, Jacoby Robinson Jr. The couple, who initially faced a murder charge for the death of Jacoby Jr. and a single count of child abuse related to their younger child, now face seven additional counts of child abuse, resulting in substantial bodily harm. Smith and Robinson, who have five children together, including Jacoby and two younger siblings, had three prior interactions with the Clark County Department of Family Services. During one of these interactions, an investigator noted that the younger sibling had injuries to his face and neck, which Smith attributed to a fall from a bike. However, further examination revealed whip marks on the child's body. Documents suggest Smith and Robinson may have used belts and power cords to inflict injuries on Jacoby and his younger brother. Smith has denied hitting the children, claiming Jacoby suffered a seizure during his death. In a recent interview, Robinson denied any involvement in the abuse, placing the blame on Smith. He also mentioned that he was attempting to devise a plan to leave with the children, but was unaware of the extent of the abuse. Photos obtained show significant bruises and scars on both Jacoby and his younger brother. These injuries were not present in earlier photos taken when the children were under the care of family services. Prosecutors have also revealed that Smith sent a letter from jail to Robinson Jr. disclosing sensitive details about the case. The letter expressed regret and sorrow over the abuse and murder, further complicating the case. As of Thursday, both Smith and Robinson remain in jail without bail. Their next court appearance is scheduled for September 4th.